Okay, so um, what is really important? Now, this is the title of my presentation, but don't worry, I'm not here to try and persuade you education doesn't belong on that list. On the contrary, as dogmatic as this may sound, I'm quite fond of my education. I like the classes I take, and it worries and it frightens me that not many students my age and peers of mine seem to see it the way I do. Now, my generation has a reputation that we are lazy, obsessed with technology, unable to have dreams and ambitions, unable to sympathize with all the bad things that are going on in the world. How often have I heard people say, these kids only care about what's going on in their screens, or these kids don't ever watch the news, or even better, these kids don't care about their future. Now, believe it or not, I've heard that quite a lot, actually, and I've come to realize that the older generations also have a steady habit of thinking that we're deaf. But although we have our headphones on most of the time, we do hear the criticism. And for me, as an ID student, MUN debater, but most importantly, person, I can't help but take offense at some of these labels that have been put on us. I know as a certainty that my generation was not born lazy and empty. You see, nobody is born anything. We were simply shut down. We were shut down by an educational system that is forcing us to hide, and to a certain degree, pushing us towards that simple life of ignorance. Now, how is that, you may be wondering. Well, let's take a quick look into an average student's life. As a student, you wake up in the morning, snooze your alarm a minimum of three times before actually standing up. Then you go get coffee, whether you like coffee or not. Um, you get into the car, and the school day starts in the bus or in the car as you rush to finish the homework you fell asleep on last night at one. At school, you attend the usual classes. That can be biology, history, economics. And you get really mad at all those people that watch you slowly approach math class and just with the biggest grin say, have fun, I have art now. Uh, then during recess, we attend the usual IB meetings, where we get stressed out about the EE, the IA, CAS, all abbreviations for requirements I'm yet to understand. All I know is that if I don't fulfill them on time, I am not getting my diploma. We check our grades a minimum of three times a day, not that they change much from one hour to another, but you never know. Then we go home, our parents stress us out and ask us, we've been talking to the counselor about university, uh, we give a brief answer, go back to studying, and that's where our day ends. But now the best part is that in between all of this confusion and all of this stress, we strive to have a social life, get enough sleep, go party once in a while, uh, build our relationships, survive the high school drama, and there is so much drama in high school, and fundamentally learn how to live. There's a joke in IB. It says, welcome to IB. Please choose two of the three, good grades, a social life, sleep. Now, I'm guessing it's funny in a way, but when you look at the bigger picture, it's almost frightening that already at this age, we are asked to give up on one of three vital things. What happened to teaching balance and the yin-yang? Now, a theory on why our generation is being applied so much stress. You see, we are the first generation to live in a globalized society a society where one person's problems have become everybody's problems. Now you, the older generations, know this, and you're more than determined to prepare us for everything that's going to be on our path. And to do so, you've established education, which essentially are boot camps, places where competition is extreme, failure is not an option, and grades seem to be the most important piece. Those who survive this training, meaning those with stellar grades, will go to the university, find the job, and come up with the solution to global warming and poverty. We're going to become heroes in the end. Everything is solved. But now, believe it or not, this approach is not working. In fact, all this does is explain why, as a generation, we have shut down. Education is aiming at raising the individual and not the generation. So much effort is being put into picking out those that are better, and all hope is being placed in them. But what about those that are being left behind? What about those that prefer art or theater? What about those that have an average of a B and not an A? The truth is that education has come down to survival of the fittest. Either you make it or you don't. And if you're going to be a success or a failure for the rest of your life, seems to be already determined in high school. I heard all the teachers have seen, have seen talks from Sirkin Robinson, and in one of his videos, he says, 
If you're not prepared to be wrong, you will never come up with anything original. Now, my generation is not prepared to be wrong. So we have buried ourselves in our devices and earned the reputation of being lazy and apathetic. So if schools shouldn't be about pressure and stress and grades, what should schools be about? Well, schools should be about what is really important. As a student, I believe schools should be about balancing the work and the fun. I believe schools should be about learning to be social. I believe schools should be authentic. You see, schools are not being realistic by applying so much pressure. Because realistically, one grade cannot change your life. And realistically, obsessing over one number that judges your knowledge is a sign of weakness and a lack of motivation and strength. Schools should be about passion and curiosity, or else my generation will keep shutting down. So please do make schools about passion and curiosity. Help my generation get back on its feet so we can go ahead and fix this world. Thank you.